What's an unfortunate truth every man has to accept at some point? Nobody is coming to rescue you, you have to help yourself. If you fail to recognize that you are in trouble, or actually just fail at something it's all on you. That older dude staring back at you in the mirror really is you. You are not that young buck you think you are, anymore. I feel that right in the bald spot. She's not playing hard to get she just doesn't like you. To achieve anything in life, you need to work for it, but you also need to be lucky. A painful truth to acknowledge both ways. Whenever you work hard, there's still a chance you will fail. And whenever you succeed, there probably were others that worked harder than you. But that is the way of life, and there is no way around it. You can only put in the work and try to be at peace with the outcome, knowing that at least you did your part. 1. Balding. 2. There's a chance your dream girl isn't meant for you. 3. You will have to show emotion. There's a very good chance you won't get what you want most. But you can try sometimes. And you just might find you get what you need. When she said it's not you, it's me. It actually was you. It was actually someone else. Looks matter. Finally someone said it. People will try all sorts of mental gymnastics by saying, Oh, all bodies are beautiful girls love dad bods because they're comfy. Or, it's okay to be fat no one will notice you. To seem nice but the reality is, literally anyone will judge you based on your appearance. Someone wants a proof. Try talking to a six-year-old. You'll know what I mean. Looks go really and I mean really far into shaping up a person's future. And this applies to both men and women. So if there are any people here who believe in the All bodies are beautiful Motto, get a grip for fuck's sake. Stop lying to yourself and stop being lied to. She's not coming back. You aren't going to be unconditionally accepted loved for being just a man. It is totally dependent on what you can provide and how well you live up to the definition society has defined as acceptable. When we get to the point you can be whatever you want and not looked down by other men and women I think true equality will be close. Not holding my breath. I had this realization a few years back when I lost my job for a short time and noticed how some people treated me not having a job during that time. Would be a lie if I said it didn't make me cold-hearted towards some people. I say fuck him, I don't live to meet other people's expectations. I'm a sensitive man and I'm not ashamed of it. Anyone who tells you to man up is either a bitter fuck or full of shit. People will always be suspicious of your positive interactions with kids. I am not as handsome as mine and told me I am. No one is coming to help you and you need to do this yourself. The sooner you realize this, the more control you take and the prouder you can be when it's done. That he's going to fail sooner or later. The good news is that's perfectly fine. I grew up in a household where you were ridiculed for making mistakes. Made it a priority that my kids will never be criticized for failing and anyone who gives them shit for it will have a problem with me. Only women, children and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides something. Chris Rock Women are not loved unconditionally either. They are loved based on youth, beauty, skills and whether they play the role that is expected of them. There's a reason why they're not running around happy-go-lucky like children and dogs. There's a reason why they're still demanding to be treated equally. The older you get you're going to pee more due to your prostate. I take meds for it but nothing can stop an older man's prostate from enlarging. In the end, after all the talk and posturing to the contrary, you cannot depend on anyone except yourself, and no one truly cares about you. I was single-ish, seeing some chick I worked with, both in our early thirties. Also had a few good buddies I worked with at the time. Got hit by a car on my motorcycle. Nothing too awful, but shattered my ankle and I was on crutches for a couple months. Literally everyone I knew turned into crickets. This was about fifteen years ago, before you could get everything delivered to your door. So my fat ass had to hobble on crutches to the grocery store every couple days. Talk about making you feel 100% alone in the world. Really lets you know who you can count on. Which is nobody. I'm in a wonderful marriage now and she bends over backwards to do anything I need. But that's a lesson that never left me. This is why a lot of people choose to stay where they're from so that they can live near family. People that have decent family members at least. My parents would have helped me out in that situation. And my wife's mom has delivered stuff to our house multiple times if the kids are sick or wife isn't feeling good. 
her brother has done the same. I have never felt alone in this world because my parents absolutely would help me with anything and now my wife and her family are the same way. I really feel sad for people who don't have that. I'm sure it sucks and hits you like a brick when you realized it back then. Being nice doesn't mean others will be nice to you as well. That I have to earn money. They don't care and they will not help nor pity you. You gotta take initiative in almost everything you do now because they aren't just going to give you the life you want. You may deserve it, but until you work to get it, it ain't happening. Nose hair is inevitable. Life is unfair. For everyone. Don't get bitter, get better. There is no substitute for hard work, and you're not actually smarter than anyone, you just think you are. You're not as smart as you think you are. But you're also not as dumb as you think you are. Give yourself some credit. You are not the main character. Everyone is background character in everyone's life. And the main character of their own. That at a certain age you're not allowed near children anymore. Not even talking or anything. Just the fact that you are near them. A five-ish year old girl in one of those swings shaped like a nappy I guess you could describe it as. You know the one shaped so they don't fall out. Anyway what I presume was the kid's nana was yelling at her to get out because they were going. The girl tries to get out slips and ends up hanging upside down one leg still stuck in the swing nana still yelling for her to hurry up. I'm pushing my girl on the swing right next to her and this kid is in a panic. I grab the girl to help her out and the nana starts yelling at me like I'm a predator. Yep it happens. Told that cunt to fuck off but now everyone is looking at me so we ended up leaving the park. She was never truly yours to begin with. It was just your turn. We get old and less horny. You will never be loved for who you are. Only what you can do. You will also probably work your ass off at a job that sees you as disposable and go home to a family where you're the least valuable person, despite you being the one that keeps your family protected and provided for. That just because you really like someone doesn't mean they will ever like you back. Life isn't a movie. You do not get together years later. That if you are a guy. Nobody cares about your problems in this world. What people say when you open up when you're a guy about depression. You are weak, sensitive, emotional. You gotta man up. You gotta stop complaining. You gotta stop crying. Women have it worse. They are the ones who are supposed to be emotional. You are a man. What are you doing? You're supposed to be strong and silent. What is wrong with you? You can't be abused. You can't go through trauma. You cannot have it bad because you're a man and if you do have it bad it's your fault and no one will help you. Sometimes I just want to kill myself and make a point but I can't do it because I have my girlfriend, my mother and my dreams to live for. It's all on you. Whatever you want to be, wherever you are in life and most importantly how you function as a person is 100% on you. Nobody can make your life better. They can sure as hell make it worse. But nobody can wave that magic wand and put you in a great career, or change the fact you fucked up school, or change the fact you messed up some relationship, or the fact you ate a lot of pizza and got fat, it's all on you. As soon as you realize that, you should also feel liberated to know that you can change 100% of all of it. Want a better job but you fucked up school? There are roots to something else. Okay you may never be an astronaut. But that doesn't mean you have to face a lifetime of shafting minimum wage jobs forever. There are educational routes and qualification routes. You have to go and get them. You will get rejected a lot, but fuck it. If you get rejected, move on to the next. Have you woken up after lockdown and realized that all that pizza and bags of sweets have given you your stomach of the apocalypse? Then get on it. Start monitoring what you eat and when you eat. Get to the gym and stop making excuses for yourself. Does that girl you liked want nothing to do with you? Fine, she's gone. There's plenty women out there in the world. But start with yourself first. The hoary old adage of working on yourself may sound tiresome but it's true. And no, video games are not a hobby. No girl is going to be impressed with your GTA stats or how awesome you are at PUBG. Most men probably wouldn't be impressed either. Learn some practical skills, get stuff wrong, and sod the mocking you'll get from others. It's fine, let them mock. It really is a reflection on themselves that you're doing something cool that they lack the gumption to do themselves. The unfortunate truth is it really is all down to you. Whether you sink or swim is really your decision. It's your sweat to try and rise above the easy street of being a fat couch potato with great PUBG stats. 
or the dude with his life in order that chicks get all impressed by when he's out chopping wood like a boss and able to help the kids with their homework. And yep, I've done it myself. And I'm pretty far from the sharpest tool in the box. I'm more that blunt number five drill bit riding around in the bottom of the toolbox. Am I envious of that fancy new set of drill bits you bought? Nah, fuck it. I'm cool here being the best damn blunt number five drill bit I can be. What's an unfortunate truth every man has to accept at some point? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.